From time immemorial until today, many historic civilizations have attributed their success to the Euphrates River as it has been the backbone of numerous Middle Eastern towns for an extended period. A bizarre and compelling event took place in the past few years, and a once mighty river no longer exists. It's pleasing to see how fast the Golden Mountains have emerged. The waters of the Euphrates River played a crucial role in enabling ancient civilizations like Sumer and Babylon to thrive, and water has been a crucial element of life in the area since ancient times, providing means of farming and transportation. Climate change and actions taken by humans were responsible for the river shrinking over time, leading to its eventual disappearance. The objective for scientists is to determine what exactly is happening in the Golden Mountains and, by deciphering the geological and biological events, they hope to unravel how they came into existence. Multiple notions and stances have been raised concerning this topic, ranging from peculiar substance configurations to intense volcanic events that took place a long time ago. Efforts by scientists to understand how both the drying of rivers and gold phenomena affect ecosystems are underway. Beyond the realm of science lies a great deal of fascination with the Golden Mountains. Tales about these astounding rocks often draw on local stories or religious concepts. Interest among tourists in the mountains contributes positively to the local economy, but provokes concern about maintaining ethics in tourism and safeguarding the environment. Collaboration between scientists and environmentalists along with local communities is essential in decoding the significance and declining riverside water levels as well as mountainous ascent, and this concerted effort aims at securing environmental stability while exploiting the economic potential. Expect to see even more scientific advancements and continued sustainable development efforts made while preserving the sanctity of this breathtaking natural marvel. The Euphrates River has been important in history. The role of the Euphrates River is pivotal to both the history and culture of the Middle East, as the shaping and growth of old civilizations were heavily influenced by this key water source that lasted for thousands of years. Like other ancient civilizations such as Babylon and Assyria, Sumer's prosperity was driven by its dependence on the river. Thanks to the provision of water for agriculture along with facilitating transportation and commerce, this river had a significant impact on boosting prosperity in adjacent cities. Without its water supply, these early societies would not have grown and prospered. Things that caused the river to dry up Due to a significant drop in water supply, over the past few years, the Euphrates River has dried up. Multiple factors have led to this situation, but we cannot ignore the gravity of the issue of climate change. This change has led to both a rise in temperature and a decrease of rainfall in the region. As a result, rising temperatures have led to an increase in how quickly we lose water, which has resulted in fewer available amounts. Besides, a lot of individuals have done their part in making sure that the river dries up due to the construction of dams upstream and increased use of water for agriculture and manufacturing purposes, which has led to lessened downhill flow. With giants like Ataturk and Haditha dams altering its route, river waters struggled to make their way further downstream. The act of taking water from nearby sources made the river smaller. Local areas have seen the same level of impact as a great number of communities whose source of income is farming along the river have been severely impacted. The increasing difficulty of using the river's water means that traditional farming practices are no longer sustainable. An adequate water supply coupled with a decline in farmland availability obliged certain locations that suffered from financial troubles to move. Accessing clean drinking water has been impacted by the drying up of the Euphrates River. These days, local communities have had to seek out different sources of clean water due to their previous source, the river, having dried up. Insufficient access to water heightens health risks significantly, while deepening pre-existing disparities in social status as well as wealth. There is a significant problem faced by both individuals and nature due to the drought in the Euphrates River. Taking urgent action to address underlying causes and mitigate impacts is needed to assure that the water resources are managed safely in this region. The discovery of the Golden Mountains has aroused 
global interest due to its unique and absorbing nature. With the Euphrates River drying up, these wondrous rocks came into sight, causing an eye-catching gold shade across. Amazed by what they saw when they first caught sight of the Golden Mountains, they were eager to learn more. The retreat of the water level exposed a stretch of golden peaks that locals and travelers spotted running along the riverbanks. Once people noticed the sudden alteration in the scenery at the event, it quickly caught their attention and became popular. Where the Euphrates River used to flow is close to the Golden Mountains, and their precise location and scale differ depending on where the river's flow has stopped. The different features of these rocks cause them to be distinct from everything else in their environment. The striking color of the Golden Mountains is what defines them, and the mountain peaks give off an aura of shimmering gold which is very inviting. The scenery looks delightful with a mix of lightness and darkness in its golden palette. The creation of the Golden Mountains remains one of science's greatest mysteries, and researchers are motivated to unravel its secrets. The unique look of these formations can be explained by many different natural and biological causes. Weathering and runoff are likely to play an important part in determining how the Golden Mountains are perceived. Over a period of time when there was a decrease in water levels in that area, it became quite clear that there were multiple layers comprising mainly sands and minerals. Perhaps one reason why these mountains are brightly colored is due to the significant amounts of metal present in some sand. The merge between substances containing iron or copper in the sun's rays could result in vibrant hues. In addition to that, it's possible that the occurrence of volcanoes in this locality previously was somehow connected to the creation of exceptional mineral deposits and rock formations attributed to volcanic eruptions. When water isn't available in rivers anymore for an extended period of time, these mineral deposits come into play, making mountain surfaces look shiny. The beauty before us is a result of the interaction between mineral deposits and natural forces working alongside volcanic action. Golden Mountains have piqued the curiosity of science as well as becoming deeply rooted in local mythologies and religious customs. The event has been given spiritual gravitas by a range of multicultural communities that have devised stories and legends. The color gold is seen by certain people as either a signal from God or symbolizing wealth and plenty, whereas other individuals associate it with myths and fables handed down orally across different generations. The unveiling of the Golden Mountains has had a beneficial effect on tourism and business in the area, as these captivating rock formations lure people worldwide and serve as an economic catalyst for relatively unknown locations. Supporting healthy tourism while safeguarding the distinctive ecosystem of the Golden Mountains is crucial. As scientists carry out continuous studies around the landscape of the Golden Mountains to evaluate its components using geological standards as well as touch upon natural aspects that may have contributed to its creation, more knowledge of its makeup could be disclosed. Deepening our grasp on the phenomenon would not only advance our knowledge of science, but also facilitate preserving and managing these incredible natural occurrences. The Golden Mountains started to emerge after the drying up of the Euphrates River, prompting scientists to start exploring their causes and mechanisms. Several hypotheses have been put forward by scientists to explain why the Golden Mountains look the way they do. How the Golden Mountains came into existence is thought to be largely due to geological factors, and it is widely believed that sedimentation, the settling of particles carried by water or wind, is the main factor. The appearance of mineral and metal-laden silt deposits was triggered by a decrease in riverine water levels, and the sun's reaction with minerals like iron and copper can create a breathtaking golden color in these mountains. How and where the minerals are joined has an impact on both the depth and hue of that golden color. The presence of earlier volcanic activity in the vicinity has led people to speculate about its possible association with the occurrence of one-of-a-kind rock formations and geological features. It is possible that these volcanic layers enriched with metals become visible once the water flow ceased, which may have caused the mountains to appear glossy. It's possible that the unique patterns we see are a consequence of how volcanic processes interacted with mineral deposits, as well as later weathering and erosion. 
The reason behind the golden shade could lie in chemical aging, and it is possible that chemical reactions took place between the surrounding metals and rocks as a result of decreasing levels of river water. These reactions can lead to certain chemicals or coatings forming on rocks, causing them to obtain their distinctive golden color, and the reason behind these alterations in color observed may lie in certain aging processes like rusting or the formation of iron oxide layers. The way that the Golden Mountains look might also be shaped by the peculiar qualities present in their surrounding rock formations and soil. Rocks such as sandstone or shale have the ability to turn yellow naturally when exposed to sunlight. The chemical composition and presence of various metals are responsible for creating the multitude of hues in these rocks. Even though these ideas contribute to our understanding of how the Golden Mountains were created, the fact remains that they are not a fully comprehended phenomenon. In order to reinforce and improve upon these concepts, a more in-depth examination is required. This can entail thorough geological surveys, in addition to analyzing rock specimens within a laboratory setting while utilizing methods for remote sensing. Mountains have been shaped by various forces including microbes and bacterial activity, which is currently under investigation by researchers. There is a dedicated scientific effort underway to uncover additional information about this event beyond just enjoying its backdrop of the beautiful Golden Mountains. Researchers seek insight into bigger picture effects, including environmental impacts from a drying river and a golden event. The area's natural resources and wildlife are being evaluated to anticipate any possible environmental impacts and scientific knowledge of natural processes aids in formulating optimum strategies that protect the environment and facilitate sustainable resource management. As a conclusion, there are plenty of scientific theories and rationales regarding how the Golden Mountains formed after the Euphrates River dried up. Chemical weathering coupled with volcanic activity and other geological processes are believed to have led to the distinctive yellow shade accentuating these beautiful mountain ranges. A remarkable event takes place because rocks are arranged in a certain way and contain certain metals that react with the sun. From a scientific perspective, additional research and exploration are required in order to fully grasp the intricacies of this fascinating natural wonder. The emergence of the Golden Mountains was a result of the drying up of the Euphrates River. In terms of culture and politics, there is no denying the significance of this. People from both near and far have been intrigued by the event, resulting in an assortment of tales along with mythologies or theological notions. Generation after generation has told stories about the Golden Mountains in the Middle East with pride, and a spiritual or mysterious meaning is frequently attributed to the events in these stories. There are people who perceive the golden hue as a sign of divine intervention, linking it to wealth or gifts, while others have experienced awe and wonder while looking at the resplendent glow emanating from these mountains. They also feel respect for it, along with faith. The culture of the area greatly influences how people see and interpret the significance of the Golden Mountains, and many cities in the Middle East during ancient times were similar to Mesopotamia. Mesopotamian human society profited immensely from the existence and significance of the Euphrates River, and people are reminded of the region's rich history when they see the Golden Mountains appear in such a scenario. Nature and human society are exemplified in this physical sign, as we see how the past echoes into the present. The importance of the Golden Mountains and their culture can be attributed largely by their religious symbolism, and some of the significant religions practiced in the area include Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Real-life occurrences in this area and the Bible's accounts play a crucial role in shaping these faiths, and religious individuals are able to correlate the Golden Mountains with their belief system through sacred scriptures and divine representations. The relationship between holy narratives and incidents is particularly noticeable in Islamic culture with regards to the revered Euphrates River. 
Islamic belief holds that when the river dries up, it signifies that the end of the world is nigh. As per Christian beliefs, the manifestation of the Golden Mountains is a significant sign of how divine events are moving forward. Culture embraces the Golden Mountains as a source of artistic inspiration in various ways. Artists and writers have tried to reveal how wonderful and strange the event is, and poems, as well as music and other forms of art, have incorporated symbols from the stunning scenery prevalent in the Golden Mountains, thereby adding to its culturally rich history. The local economy's prosperity is one of the many results of the event. Alongside its significant historical and cultural relevance, and the presence of the Golden Mountains has caused individuals worldwide to visit. The increased interest in economic activity have put these previously unheralded places on the map. However, maintaining a balance between supporting responsible tourism and conserving the distinctive ecology of the Golden Mountains is necessary, keeping in mind its favorable as well as unfavorable implications. The event's cultural and historical relevance will be highlighted as a way to bring in more tourism. Visitors can delve into the history of the Golden Mountains while discovering its rich culture and learning about natural processes through interpretive centers, museums, and guided walks. Through these projects that aim at making people understand and value the past culture of this area, it helps keep it from fading away. The rise in popularity of the Golden Mountains after the Euphrates River dried up marks a crucial cultural and political event. Tradition and art, along with religious readings and tales woven into its history, make it a defining part of local culture. This object infuses you with a sense of mystery that links you back to your origins, while also fueling the urge for exploration and artistic expression. Sustainable practices that prioritize protecting the special environment and cultural history of the Golden Mountains, while also promoting economic growth, are necessary to sustain local communities and benefit the tourism industry. When the Euphrates River ran dry, Golden Mountains started to grow and the environment was profoundly affected by this. The emergence of rocks in this area, along with drought conditions, has had both primary and secondary impacts on the local ecosystem. Marine ecosystems can be disrupted by environmental factors, and as the river's waters recede over time, so do the communities and species that previously inhabited its banks. The impact is felt more acutely in river regions that contain wetlands or swampland, providing refuge for plant and animal species is one of the essential roles that these areas play. The interdependency among species relying on a river's water is affected by changes in its natural balance due to diminished availability. Migratory species that need the Euphrates River for their yearly life cycle are also adversely affected by the disappearance of aquatic environments. Consequently, the normal habits of river-dwelling animals like fish and birds will need to be altered due to changes in the river. The neighboring vegetation is also impacted by fluctuations in water supply, along with habitat loss, and plants that are adapted to living in riparian environments might face difficulties surviving or competing against non-native plants that move into the open spaces. Plant survival and growth can be hindered by modifications made to the amount of water available that change the composition of the soil's salt concentration. Ensuring the preservation of our remaining water sources and encouraging people to use water responsibly are important objectives for conservation. Adopting environment-friendly approaches towards handling scarce resources like water, such as conserving it via recycling or using eco-friendly watering methods, can help alleviate its negative impact. The longevity of our water supply depends on the responsible usage of it by businesses and homes. Alongside their protection work for animals, conservation groups focus on repairing the damage done to natural environments. 
by putting in hard work towards saving remaining marshlands and repairing destroyed regions while building new dwellings for harmed wildlife caused by river dryness, they can make a positive difference. Through these initiatives, we hope to bring back natural harmony in the region by aiding in plant and animal recuperation. Education and information initiatives are instrumental in successful conservation activities, teaching people about the importance of using sustainable approaches and how they impact the environment as a way for communities to save their natural resources. Through educational programs, locals can learn how to become responsible for the environment. Effective global teamwork and strategic planning are key components in tackling natural problems arising from the Euphrates River drying up, and joint management policies for shared river valleys promote collaboration among countries and protecting habitats and ensuring sustainable use of water resources. As a result, the change in marine environments, coupled with the loss of land and scarcity of water, causes problems for both species and local populations. Conservation activities that center on water management and habitat preservation are key components of addressing these problems. Obtaining knowledge regarding the geological processes and methods that resulted in the formation of the Golden Mountains is necessary. Important information regarding an area's minerals, aging processes, and geological past can be obtained through geological studies, lab analyses of rock samples, and remote sensing methods. Understanding the composition and history of the land is assisted by them. Gaining insight into how and why mountain appearances arise will lead to greater comprehension among scientists. An essential area of research is examining how the dried up river and ascent of the Golden Mountains affect local habitats and animal species. This research might offer valuable insights into how natural phenomena affect ecosystems. One could focus their studies on determining the level of resilience that different species possess and identifying factors that may disturb their ecosystems. Ways to shield and repair impacted environments can be developed by them. Successful control and protection necessitate understanding the impact on plant life, animal life, and overall environmental balance over the long haul. An examination of how the Golden Mountains event could influence society and the economy may be conducted in the present study. Devising strategies to promote responsible tourist practices requires evaluating the possibilities and problems associated with tourism, sustainable development, and community involvement. The environment can also be protected. Learning more about science and improving protection efforts are promises offered by future hopes and study opportunities in the Golden Mountains. Aiding in the healthy expansion of the locality is also among their capabilities. Increasing our knowledge of the geological, biological, and socioeconomic factors will provide us with a comprehensive view of this astounding natural event. Our commitment to its preservation will secure its future. To conclude, observing the Golden Mountains come into view subsequent to the Euphrates River drying up is an intriguing occurrence of nature. It possesses numerous meanings, incorporating folklore, historical accounts, and religious texts into its culture has enriched the region's culture, showcasing its rich history and faith. The impact on habitats from the environmental effects of a dried up river and the arrival of the Golden Mountains has caused worry among people. To ensure enough water and protect the environment. The public is being educated while ongoing efforts are made to support sustainable water management and protect surviving ecosystems. Furthermore, ongoing research on the natural processes, biological impacts, and socioeconomic aspects of the occurrence provides optimism for an enhanced understanding of it. Additional approaches to managing it can be devised. Addressing environmental issues and promoting responsible management will guarantee that the Golden Mountains' cultural, 
natural, and historical heritage will be available for enjoyment and appreciation by future generations. This will assist us in preserving mountain beauty. So, if you find this video informative, then please do like it, share it, and subscribe to 